Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here. And today I'm going to do a little patty melt for you. Whew! Whew. That's right. We're going to get all situated with Miss Patty today. That's right. Uh, patty melt. Been wanting to do a patty melt for quite some time. This is going to be a non-traditional patty melt. I think a traditional might have like rye bread and maybe Swiss cheese. We're not going to do that. I'm going to do maybe just a hussy patty melt. Okay, how about that? So we're going to have some, some thinly sliced onions. We're going to have some American cheese and we're going to do that on some thick toast. Uh, the store says Texas toast. Apparently Texans, they get all been out of shape a little bit. Uh, some do, some don't. But uh, they said we just call it toast. So thick toast is what I'm going to call it. Thick toast. So hey, let's get to the ingredients. Let's see what's in these patty melts. All right, let's get to it. All right. All right, Patty. We got our four pieces of toast right there. One, two, three, four. We got our thinly sliced onions. I got two, uh, six, maybe about six and a half ounces of 80-20 uh, ground chuck. I've put these into a, you know, somewhat of a circle. I want to take my press and I'm going to press those down, get that nice char on those. Okay, we're going to get the we're going to get the blackstone nice and hot for that. I got four slices of American cheese. I got our seasoning mix here. I got uh, one part salt, maybe about a half part pepper, quarter to half part uh, garlic powder, same for onion powder, quarter half part, and about a quarter part of quarter part of beef powder. All right. So we're just gonna, you know, work that together. And that's gonna be our seasoning for our burgers, and we're gonna put some, you know, on our onions. I'm gonna make like a Thousand Island kind of dressing. So this is Duke's mayonnaise, ketchup, and this is some sweet, some sweet salad cubes. This is what I used here. You can use pickles. You can use whatever pickles you like. But these are nice. We put these, uh, we put these in like potato salad. It gives it a little sweet. And um, for my onions, I like to, I like to hit it with a little bit of that white wine right there. Just cooking wine it makes them a little sweeter, and it helps, it helps them get nice and and caramelized quicker. Okay. That's it, y'all. This is the patty melt. Let's get it on the Blackstone, all right? All right, hey, ingredients, pretty simple. Now, let's get to cooking, all right? First things first, we're gonna get these onions down. We wanna get these nice and soft and succulent and whatever else that is, I don't know. So again, we got this well, I didn't put any oil down. I had bacon grease on here, okay? Which is, which is oil, okay? We wanna get our seasoning. I'm just gonna use the same seasoning for the burgers, for the onions. No big deal. Although I didn't really make a whole lot, so hopefully I got enough for both. I think I do. Sprinkle a little bit of that. That right there? Okay. And we're just gonna Want to get them soft and we want to caramelize a little bit and if you paid attention in the ingredients did you pay attention did you okay pay attention thank you i like to add a little bit of wine a little bit of this this is just cooking wine and what i what it does it also this adds it adds a little bit of sweetness to it to the onions but it it also helps it helps that caramelization, okay? Those, those bad boys are looking good already. I mean, they're looking good. Hey. All right. So we're gonna put those over here. And we're gonna let them just go. So I got a little bit of my, a little bit of my grease over here. I wanna wick this middle up. I'm gonna wick it up, I'm gonna get it hot. I'm gonna get a hot and I'm gonna drop these burgers on it, okay? I wanna get a good sear and I'm gonna get them, okay? If you noticed, I had these onions right here. So I'm building on a little bit of flavor. So you got a little bit of that onion on there, a little res uh, residual from the onion. So I got those, move them over here, but it should be good, all good grease right here. It's kind of infused, right? So I got my black stone press, okay? Um, just gonna salt and pepper. I'm sorry, 
We're just going to season these burgers up, not salt and pepper. It's my seasoning mix. I'm going to season it, you know, on this bottom side, okay? So right now, you can kind of see it's getting warm, okay? Let's see where, let's see where we're at. So we're only at 1,000 degrees. We're only at 300. We're only about 350 degrees here. I want to get that a little hotter, okay? So I'm going to season this other, this other uh, patty, right quick, okay? And we're going to let this get hot, a little bit hotter. I'd like to get it on up near 400. Look at those. They're all nice. They, see how caramelized they already are? And it's gonna be nice and sweet too from that wine. So we're just gonna leave this, we're gonna get this going a little hotter. Now we're at right at 400 degrees. So we're gonna take one of our patties. Okay, boom. One patty and two patty. Okay, now we're just gonna take our press I just want to get this thinned out a little bit more, okay? And I want to get a nice contact pack. So it's kind of like a smash burger, okay? But not. I just want to hold it there. You know? Oh my patty. Just for a little bit. Don't burn yourself. Do it again, ready? gonna be good it's gonna be good all right and that's gonna give a nice nice contact pad okay this is gonna be good this is gonna be some good groceries okay more seasoning more seasoning all right while that's while that's going I want to mix up our uh, a little Thousand Island ketchup, uh, sweet cubes, and some mayonnaise. That's it. And we're going to put a lot of this on our burger, patty melt. We're going to put a lot of this on our patty melt. So the patty melt, is it a burger or is it a sandwich? I don't know. Both? That's good. Nice and tangy, like I like. All right, onions, how are y'all? Those onions, those onions are beautiful. I will remember you. Hello, beautiful. I'm gonna kind of even those out. I got two and two there, okay? One, two. We're gonna give these burgers just a little bit longer to get a nice another little crust on it, okay? Don't go anywhere. Be right back. Cheer wine, a little bit of butter, that's for our toast, okay? And then something to cut our burgers with. All right, let's see what we got. Woohoo! Perfect. Now, my burgers. My burgers here. I wanna, I'm going for a little bit of pink, okay? I like a little pink with my burger. So, just FYI. I'm gonna put a little bit more, a little bit more of that seasoning right here on the burgers. I do not want it to be not seasoned. A little bit here, a little bit there. Season it however you want, okay? I'll take our trusty Blackstone cutting board right here. All right, well, I think we're ready. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna toast. I'm gonna toast our buns. Okay. Toast our buns. I'm just gonna try to make a little bit of room here. So I got a little bit. I got a little bit of this onion over here, and I want that to be on my toast. Okay. One, two, we're just gonna toast those up, okay? Tell y'all what, let's put that right there. Let's put, it, let's put it right there. All right, cutting the blackstone off. Our burgers, they're done. Don't even need the 
black stone anymore. I'll put this over here, try to get a little bit more of a crust on it. I've cut this off, it's been a while, so it's not real hot, all right? What I am gonna do, I'm gonna take our onions. We'll put our onions on our burgers, our patties, okay? There you go, get on there, onions. One little, two little, three little onions. All right, we're gonna take our cheese. It's hot out here, so this cheese is sticking. We're gonna do one. We're gonna do two, Patty. We're gonna do three. And four. Alrighty. Our toast is looking lovely. I need to do the other toast. Toast. Toast with the most. All right, we're gonna get these on this cutting board. All right, so it's time to build this bad boy, okay? One burger, or one piece of toast. Sauce. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Would you look at that? Look at that, Patty. Look at that, Patty. My word. Look at that patty melt. Well, hey, I say let's slice this thing. Let's slice it. Give it a try. Let's give this bad boy a try. Mmm. Mmm. First thing first, I get that crunch of the exterior of that burger where we kind of press it, got that nice crust. Then I got that sweetness of those caramelized onions. Mmm. 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 That burger though, it's nice, nice and meaty, very flavorful from our, from our seasoning. God, oh so cheesy like me. Mm. Mm. Wow, I got something right there, right there. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this right here is a crowd pleaser. You can make it however you want, whatever bread you want. This is what I wanted to do here. Make it your own. Hey, I appreciate each and every one of you for watching, supporting the channel. Um, look in the description below. You'll see the ingredients. I get a lot of questions about, hey, I don't know where the ingredients are, that kind of thing. Make sure you click the description below and you'll see it, okay? Also, there's uh, Amazon, my Amazon store. A lot of this stuff that I use is in my Amazon store, okay? That's in the description as well. I get a lot of people, where is it? A lot of people ask about uh, my little pigtail flipper. I flip things with in the Amazon store. My neighbor, he makes them. He makes them hand, he hand makes these. Give that a link, no, give that a look. Um, t-shirts, Hungry Husky t-shirts. There's a description below. There's a Teespring link where you can get some merchandise. There's stickers, there's shirts, all kinds of stuff. Give that a look.
want to put that out there. I do get a lot of questions about it, okay? So, hey, everybody, I love you. I sure appreciate you. And until next time, folks, Hungry Hussy is out.